apart from making and selling of uh, liquid soap, you can also make money from making and selling of foam booster. Yes, I know you'll be wondering, who will I sell it to? You can supply people that are selling chemicals. I mean the chemical stores. Yes, if you make quality foam booster, you can make your money. You can also supply to um, people that are making liquid soap just like you. You can make this for your own personal use, maybe for your liquid soap, for your bar soap, and every of your production that you want to make. So I was able to make this um, foam booster with just three chemicals. Just three chemicals. It is very simple. It is not complex. You can make it yourself. Yes, you can do it. So let's get right into the tutorial. And the first chemical we are going to use is our sulfonic acid. So I'll start by measuring the quantity of sulfonic acid I need. Please guys, sulfonic and not sulfuric. I have to like put the name on the screen so that people can see the name because I've seen people call sulfonic acid as sulfuric. They are two different chemicals. Please do not mix what you don't know together. So we are going to need 200 ml of sulfonic acid. Then you get your um, mixing bowl and a spatula. It is very important because we are going to mix. Then the next chemical we are going to need is our texapon. And for the texapon, we are going to use 120 grams of texapon for this production. So guys, I want to beg you to please make sure you get um, original texapon. It is very, very important. Get original texapon. Yes. We have fake texapon in the market and that can affect your production. So I have a video on this channel where I explain how you can differentiate between fake and original texapon. It is very important you get original chemicals for your soap. I've you know, fully victim of fake chemicals for so many times before I realized there are even fake and original chemicals. So it's important you know what you are buying. So you can check out that video and know how you can uh, differentiate between the fake and with the original one. So the next thing is to add my sulfonic acid into my texapon. Add your sulfonic acid into your texapon. Then you mix it for like um, 20 to 30 seconds, not minutes, seconds, please. And you don't need like to mix it vigorously, just for us to be able to combine the upon and the sulfonic acid. That's just the aim of mixing it to combine the sulfonic and the texapon together before we move to the next step. Now for this production, you will need to do a lot of mixing. So be ready. So the next thing I'm going to add is water and I'm going to use 1,200 ml of water. 1,200 ml of water. However, I am not going to add this water um, once. You add it step by step, like gradually. You add a drop, you mix, drop and mix. So that is what you see me doing. Because as we are mixing this um, sulfonic and uh, texapon, it will actually double in size. At some point, the butter will be thick. At some point, it will loosen up. So just be calm. Don't be scared. You are on the right track. Can you see what is happening in the video? I hope you can see that it's like a little bit hard. Then I went in with another drop of water. Then I will mix. That is how you will continue to do it. So I'll advise that if you want to make it, you can just be watching this video. Then you follow the step by step of making it so that you will not make any mistake. It is very, very important. So can you see the way I am mixing it? Please, you have to mix it and ensure that you don't have any lump in the uh, production. Please, it is very important. Don't be in a haze. Just calm down. You can do it, okay? So after mixing for a while, I will add water again. If you notice that when you add water, the, uh, the texapon and the sulfonic will loosen up, right? Now if you add water, it will thicken up again. So just like that, it will be going off and on until we get to a particular consistency where we will know, okay, this is okay. 
to all my returning subscribers i sincerely want to appreciate you guys for always coming back to my video i love you so much and i appreciate you please as usual don't forget to like this video and don't forget to share with your loved ones and to the first timers i love you so much thank you for stopping by to watch my video please do where to join this wonderful family can you see how it is looking like a body lotion can you see it i'm not done adding the water i'll still continue until i'm done with the 1200 ml of water that is meant for this production that we are making now so i'll still add some the mix add and mix until i am done please do not add everything at once if you add everything at once you might not get the um a good end result so it's better you just do it at a pace just like you see me do in this video so can you see it now can you see guys so the water is just remaining small that i will add. it's mainly like 100 ml inside that cup so can you see that at this point it has totally losing up so it's not getting thick again but i noticed that um this bowl was you no know, small for me to mix it so what i did after adding the last um about 100 ml that you see me go in with now i poured my butter into another bowl a bigger bowl so that i'll be able to mix it very well can you see the way i'm mixing it i don't want to have any lumps i noticed that there were lumps i was not able to mix it very well so i have to transfer it here please guys don't forget to like this video can you see the lumps i'm talking about just very very small so after mixing this i was able to get rid of the lump then after mixing this is what you should have you should have a consistency like this so we go in with the third chemical which is our citric acid citric acid in this production will act as a preservative and as a binder for our foam booster so after adding it you mix it very well make sure it's combined well and the next thing i'm going in with is my color now color is totally optional but if you are making this for a commercial purpose if you want to sell it is advisable you just add a drop please don't pour the color just a drop is okay a drop is okay you will see the outcome of that drop that i added after this video so mix it well cover it and allow it to settle down then you will see the end result so after mixing and i cover it for some hours then this is the outcome of our foam booster can you see it this foam really so well guys can you see how clean it is so you can make this and sell and make money from it if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so by clicking the subscribe button and putting on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload new video thank you so much guys for watching this video to the end see you in my next tutorial bye